Aloha, what is going on in like Flynn viewers? This is Sean and today I am unboxing my brand new Insta360 GO 3S camera. I'm excited about this camera because we are about to go on our Southern California vacation and I wanted a camera that was going to be easy to use, that was very compact. We didn't have a lot of uh, luggage space uh, to take a lot of camera equipment, things like that. But as you know from being fans of our channel, we like to do a lot of attraction videos and different theme park videos, stuff like that. So I wanted something that was going to be light and compact and lo and behold, I found this Insta360 GO 3S camera. This thing is so tiny, so small, but can do 4K, 30 frames per second video. And the sensor size was big enough to where it looked like it was taking some pretty quality video, especially outside in some of the theme parks that we're going to be doing, which include Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood. So. I picked this up and I'm excited to use it. I got the white edition, the 128 gigabyte. They also have a 64 gigabyte version um, in white and black as well. I'm actually filming this review with my Insta360 uh, X4. So I'm interested to see how this video turns out actually because I got that camera as well. I've been doing a lot of 360 footage with that. So um, with that being said, uh, in the box here, we should have the Insta360 uh, GO 3S camera, the action um, pod, which will actually mount to the camera. Uh, it's got a charging cable, lens guard, magnet pendant, um, some different clips, stands, stuff like that. Let's, let's dive into this thing and get it open. Let's see what we're dealing with. I'm, I'm really excited. I've been watching this camera for a while now, and uh, I can't wait to actually get it in Disneyland. All right. Oh, another thing I was actually excited about, this camera also works with um, your Apple phones. So if you have an Apple device, it will locate your camera if you should lose it, which I think is a really cool feature because the camera is so small and I'm not sure how well the magnets hold up, but if you drop it or lose it somewhere, you can easily locate the camera with your Find My Device app with your iPhone, which I have. Ooh, this thing is tough. All right, so here's what we got inside of the box here. Let me set this down. All right, so first off, we have got the camera. It is looking beautiful in there. So let's open this up. All right. So the little user guide, some documentation, boring stuff. Now over here, looks like we have some additional documentation and things. Yeah, all right, so over here, you've got your uh, cable. This is a charging cable for the action pod. Now, from what I understand, you have to have the action pod in order to charge the device. Now, you can buy the camera separately. If you had the, like the Go 3, the action pod, um, you can use it and charge it with that um, action pod, but if you just get the camera, you won't have a way to charge it. So yeah, we've got a USB-C charging cable right there. Um, is there anything else in here? Let's see. Oh, here's our manuals and things. Okay. So we got a quick start guide. Oh, cool. They give you some like cute little stickers and things go along with the camera. Uh, it's got some waterproofing. So it's got some waterproofing documentation, some safety guidelines, uh, warranty information. All kinds of good stuff that I can review later. All right, well, let's dive into this puppy. All right, so, hmm, this looks like it is some kind of a mount. Is this, this could be the, let's see, is this the, like the visor clip? It's a sticky base. Uh, cover, okay, I see. This is the cover for the one mount that they provide you here in the box. Oh, this is a cool little swivel mount here. All right, so check that out. It's got a nice little screw thread, okay? And then it's got a swivel head on it, so you can easily swivel this thing around and it should attach to anything that has a screw thread. I'm actually wondering if I can use my, um, my Insta360 um, invisible selfie sticks with this. I'm guessing I can because it's probably interchangeable with that. Okay, jumping in, we have the action pod, which has a flip up screen, flip up screen just like that. 
It's kind of cool. And then here is the camera itself. Now that thing is tiny. Let me give you an idea here. So that's my hand. And look how tiny that camera is. That is a tiny little camera. Now, what I thought was cool about this thing. Now, let me show you here. I'm going to put this back into the action pod for now. That just snaps right back in there. And look, that thing's not going anywhere. Like, I'm wiggling this thing around, jerking it. That thing's not going anywhere. It snaps solidly in place. It takes a good bit of force to get that out. All right. Oh, this is the, the hat mount that people were talking about. So you can use this um, to mount on your hat and things, which is kind of cool for those uh, POV shots. So you can mount this in different locations. You can see that. And hmm, let's see, that's magnetic. So looks like you would take this pod Throw it right in there, and boom, the camera's in there. That puppy is secure, and I think you can actually just take this and like put it right on your hat, like this. Oh yeah, check that out, that is sweet, man. So you can put that right on your hat like that, and boom, it's mounted right on your hat. That thing ain't going anywhere, like, that's awesome, I love it right on my visor I love wearing my hat backwards so I'm all about this thing and I think you can also mount it on some other things like uh, you can probably mount it on like shirts and all kinds of different stuff or you can just use it separately this cover thing I got to figure out this cover deal I'm guessing the cover just slips right on there like that it just screws on And then, yeah, not really sure what this does. I have to look up what this thing does. I guess I got to do some more research. I feel like a lame-o for not knowing that. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Now, oh, this thing will snap right on there. You can feel those magnets really pulling that thing. That's pretty cool, dude. So, wait, can you just, it says put this up there. Oh, check that out. Dude, that just snaps right in there. Sweet. Oh, so this is like a little sticky mount for this. It just kind of snaps right into the camera and then boom, it's like almost like a little webcam, dude. That is sweet, I like it. Now, like I said before, this camera can actually take 4K at 30 frames per second video. Unfortunately, it doesn't do 60 frames per second, but you know what, I'm not the hugest fan of 60 frames per second. I don't do a lot of slow motion stuff really just for my ride and traction videos and theme park walkthroughs and like maybe some interviews um you know i would use it for that the other really cool thing about this camera too is its magnetic back um if you have anything that's like magnetic um like when you're out and about you can literally just put the camera up and talk to it and you have a tripod at your fingertips so i don't know this ball might be yeah check it out like right there boom I knew that there was some metal along the edging there. And look at that, I could just mount that right there and literally have a tripod for the camera going that way. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna throw this back in there. Now the last thing, this is one of the things I'm gonna be using a lot is that it comes with this uh, pendant that you can use. And you just throw that over your neck, right? So if you're at a theme park, you just take this and then does that pop off? I don't know. I thought maybe this thing would pop up. Oh, right here. Okay. I technically put it on backwards. I'll have to turn it back around. There we go. All right. So basically this thing would go under your shirt like this. Like you wear it like a necklace. And then you can take the camera and while you're out and about, boom. So if I'm on a ride and this thing is adjustable too, so you can adjust it up and down. I'm on a ride, bam, there's my camera. It's mounted right to my shirt, not going anywhere. 
I mean, the thing is, like I said, it's on there tight. And how clever is that? You're done with it, boom, unclip it, you're back in the GoPod. Now this is a way for you to frame your shots and things. So if you, I mean, it's almost identical to a GoPro. So I have a GoPro, I've got a couple GoPros. So this feels very much like a GoPro. So if you want to use it in this capacity, you can. Um, and yeah, there's different mounts and things that you can do. This is magnetic as well. So yeah, you can, oh yeah, check that out. So this goes, it looks like right in there and then snaps in. Yep. Aha. So this is the little sticky cover thing, but you undo that and then you get one of the selfie pods or something and boom, you're got yourself a little invisible selfie pod with your action pod and it'll charge on the go as well. So if you're out in the theme park and I need to charge up some, I throw it in the action pod, the action pod, action pod will act as a charger and charge the, uh, the smaller camera device while it's mounted in the pod. So I am excited to try this out. Um, you know what, I will uh, try to get some test footage with this and throw it at the end of the video for you to check out. And yeah, um, I'm excited to take this thing on vacation. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. That's everything that's that's in the box here. And uh, we will see you next time, but um, enjoy the test footage. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about the Insta360. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And other than that, um, hey, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think about picking one up and I'll put a link to it in the description. All right, peace out everyone. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy the test footage.